how do how do you escape samsara? <laughs> Not well, escape, but how do you uh, escape uh, get yourself out of the suffering? How do you re- yeah. relieve your suffering? Yes. Yeah, so if we think back to this misapperception of the world uh, as the cause, or or the pretty close to what the the cause is, but it's it's our ignorance of that experience mm. that's really holding us back. Mm-hmm. Meaning that we're simply believing that our senses are telling us something true when they're not. Mm-hmm. They're, the, our senses are really designed to help us survive, not to give us uh, the, the ultimate reality. So the ultimate reality is, again, that, that pure awareness that we mentioned. A pure possibility, that, pure potential. That's the real you, and mm. that is what you can count on, what you can stand on. What mm. It is the ground of being that d- never shifts, and it's stable. Mm-hmm. Where the ego is always shifting, you know. Well, the, yeah, the world is always shifting, mm-hmm. uh, because it's, that's its nature. It's maya, it's appearance, it's, uh, it's a, always in flux. Mm-hmm. Therefore, to put your money on the external uh, is a losing bet because mm-hmm. it's always going to change. It's never going, going to give you what you expect it to give mm-hmm. you. And expecting the world to give you happiness, stability, safety, that's the cause of suffering, right? It begins that cycle of misapperception, uh, putting mm-hmm. uh, your your... Uh, your hopes and dreams on something that cannot be stable. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you're creating your own suffering. So the answer is knowledge. Mm. Because if it's ignorance of it's that mechanism yeah. that's causing the whole wheel of uh, samsara to spin, mm-hmm. then awareness, meaning higher knowledge of the true awareness of the true nature of yourself, the true self in you, that is the way out of that samsaric cycle of...